Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know this is really late this month. I have been very busy. It's been the Easter holidays, so Jennifer's been off. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do my uh, completed pages for the month of March. So we'll start with this one. Uh, this is a free one from the Deborah Muller colouring group on Facebook, Mermaid, one from a few years ago. I've got hundreds of these, so it's just done with various markers, nothing special. It was just so much to do when I was a bit bored. But yeah, I, I quite like these ones. I did one in Hannah Carlson's children's book, Party, uh, as soon as I got it, because I had to. It was It's such a lovely book. And I did this one, and on this one I did the two unicorns, and I used my uh, acrylic pens from the Artex ones, and I used the Artex metallics, I believe, um, and obviously some glitter gel pens as well. It's a really cute one. It took me a while, but I enjoyed doing it. Obviously the black background took the longest. It's a lot of black ink, but yeah, I like it. So. Um, one from Colour Mahord for 2023 is from Country Summer by Jade Summer. Now the good news is Jade Summer are looking to put out new books this year and they are working on them so I'm very excited. And I just did this one of the little wheel with the uh, flowers and the birds I think it's quite nice. It's just again various markers that I'm using up, bits of, so shuttle arts, some sharpies, um, the United Office ones that I got from Lidl's and of course the ones from, oh what's it called? I can't remember now but I've got so many, oh, the Arteza ones. So anyone's just pick up a colour I like it and use it from each book. So it didn't take long but nice. Uh, this again is a Colour Mahord 2023 one. It's also uh, one of the Whipping the Whips one. You saw us do a bit of it on, on the channel last month. I'll take that out and we did. Let me just find it. Where's it gone? Here it is. Uh, and it was this one. And again, this was done with various markers, Arteza, Shuttle Arts, and so on. And this was just me finishing off um, one I started last October in Halloween month. Never finished it then. So I like this book. It's got some lovely pictures in it. Two sets of each. So as I've said before, my plan with two sets is once I've done one set, I will cut the book in half and put the cover and the pictures I've done into a, a full skirt folder um, and then Jennifer can have the rest and I'll just put it in her drawers which needs sorting out of colouring and stuff and she can go and take what she wants when she wants to. Uh, another one for Colour My Horde is 50 Spring Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. I love this book. I've got to do a buddy colour in this this month so I can have it back now and uh, do it. And I used to it, I didn't, you know, not too much, just very pretty um, pastel markers, the Ateza, uh, the, the Ohuhu pastel markers, um, along with some of the, the shuttle arts and the United Office ones, I can never remember, they look nice, very pretty, didn't take too long, that's the thing about these books, oh dear, something's going on, Community Angel Cove books, they, they don't take that long and it's real good fun. Another one I've had a long time <laughs> to do, took me a long time to do, was one from the Burlesque special from Colour in Heaven. So this must have been last year or the year before, I don't know, it's been hanging around for ages. And as you know, I'm trying to get rid of as many of my whips as I can. And I finally finished this one was with, um, I did use the Arteza pencils, I used uh, um, Black Widow's on this one. Uh, it did take a long time. I, literally when I came back to starting it, all I'd done was her skin. There was nothing else was done. That was it. I'd just done the skin. Um, I hadn't done her hair or the background. And I thought I'd start with the background. So I started with the, the, the um, curtains. And this is three different Black Widow reds. And if you're wondering how I get it looking so smooth, is I use a alcohol marker, colourless alcohol marker, the blenders that come with them. I just find they, they it does work really well. And again, the same with the, the floor. Another one I started in October was one from Spoo Collects by Carla Magana. 
and so here she is I finally finished her and again all I'd done was her skin I think or yeah I think it was just the skin I'd done I hadn't done anything else it was just you know I start them and I didn't finish them and I've got on here it's um, uh, gold and silver metallic and obviously glitter gel pens and the rest of it is again Arteza Everblend markers or the um, gosh what are they called I keep forgetting the United Office ones I love this pink on her hair but yeah enjoyed that one another one for Colour My Horde was another Jade Summer book and this is Jade Summer's Gnomes I, I can't wait for them to bring another one out new book and I just did this little gnome sleeping on the flower again various markers you know me I just use whatever markers are around United Office um, Arteza Everblend and so on Sharpies etc I also used some um, glossy accents on the, the raindrops I don't know if you can see it yeah just about yeah just to make them it look more like raindrops than yeah it looks like raindrops I don't use them very often another whip that I had hanging around for a while was one in another Jade Summer book which is the Jade Summer Love colouring book and it was this one and what happened with this one I was painting the background you can't really see it because it's very shiny background with an artillic metallic paint from the work uh, not from the works from the what it's a shop, shop called what and they sell tubs of acrylic paint and there it's like one night nine each or three for a fiver so I always pick up three different colors I've got to make a list of what I got now so that when we go in I don't use it um, and so I did the background with that and then the rest is done with various glitter gel pens um, and the reason this was hanging around for so long as I was painting with Jennifer and the cat got on there and she knocked the water over and black paint went everywhere you know and some went on here as you can, you can see it's a bit there but I managed to cover most of it with the acrylic paint and I've got it finished so it's another one off of my whip list this is a book I bought last year I think and I picked a picture again I started doing it and then when I was painting with Jen and I'd done most of it and then I just stopped so the last time we had the paints out I decided to finish it and it was this one and I do like this one and this is done with uh, mostly the paints from Liddles, the watercolours. I prefer watercolours in a pan set rather than in tubes. This is tubes, but it, it was all right. This is from the, one of my pan set of sparkly ones, um, and this, and this, and the bottom glitter. There's some glitter on the bottom. It actually came from some glitter paints that some glitter that Jennifer had at Christmas, which is was in her unicorn paint set. So I said, can I use a little bit? And she was like, yes, I put gold on gold and silver on silver. And that's that one. So now we're on to all the patterns I did. I did one in Intricate Flowers by Jade Summer. Let me just find this one. Again, this is a book I'm doing in order because I like to. And again, it's just various glitter gel pens, as you can see. I do love my glitter gels. And this is various ones, um, the ones I had for Christmas. Uh, from my Secret Santa, some of the oh the Link Shine, which I use all the time. Then I got some from the Scribblicious ones, so lots of different ones. Didn't take too long. I, I enjoyed doing that one. Then I have got here. Um, this is Magnificent Mandalas. This is the Relax with Art Holiday Mandala Special. I'm not doing these in orders. I literally just picked one I liked. And again, various glitter gel pens. But this is actually quite a nice book of mandalas, different ones they got like that. I'm gonna love doing that. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. Another whip I have had for a long time is on, I know you can't really see it, this Relax with our pocket edition. So this is when I, you could put in your bag with some a handful of pens and just do it. And I started this one a long, long time ago and it has just been sitting there forever not getting done and it's just all the different glitter gel pens again that I've got and I lose glitter gel pen a lot on patterns I just find it really nice it's nice to finish these and be able to put them away Camellia Angel Cova I did one in 50 stylish and mandalas 
again, all glitter gel, as you can see. I usually do this when I'm watching a movie. I do like this pen. I've only done one other in this one, which is this one, which is on by the felt hem by my bed. But I thought I'd do a glitter one this time. It does look nice. Right, easy, simple flower mandalas. Again, another Camellia Angel Cover. We do have a lot of Camellia Angel Covers. We love Camellia Angel Cover, don't we? And again, it's only the second one I've done in here. And this was done with those um, United Office markers. And this is what I said, very unusual for a small pack of cheap markers to have a, flesh, uh, a Caucasian flesh tone in them. But I do use that, like when I'm doing mermaids and things, and use that as a flesh. But yeah, this five different colours, was it? One, two, yeah, five different colours, something like that anyway. And it, it's just really pretty. Colour by numbers and then we'll hit the ten books to finish or work on this year. So obviously with St Patrick's Day being in March, I had to do one in the St Patrick's Day book by Sachin Sachdeva. I will do them all year round because I just love them. And I did this one of the um, Lucky Clover, but technically it's not a Lucky Clover because a Lucky Clover would be four leaf, not three leaf, which is three leaf but it's still nice to do love the colors on it i do like this book oh look at that little rainbow so i can enjoy that one um yeah so i did that one i'm sure i've done more than that i'm sure there should be another book somewhere is it downstairs i'll go and have a look in a minute i'll just finish this one um i did one in a hundred easy mandalas color by number by such in such diva Again, I like this book. It's 100, but they're so small, they're easy to do. And again, just did this with various markers that were hanging around. Um, yeah, so there's that one. I'm just going to go and have a look, because I know there should be another book. I'm sure there should. No, maybe that was... No, it was this month. That's fine. No, I have got them all. I'm just a bit mad. On to... 10 books to finish. Now, I didn't do all 10, but... All 10 books, but I did do a few. So I did do another one in Chelsea's Pretty Creations. I do like this book. And I did this one. This is the one that I, on the back of this one, after I'd done the background, which was fine, forgot to put a blotter page under. So she got bits of purple on her. So I've done the best I can to cover her up using my various markers. So these have got Windsor and Newton. I've used here on the hair, um, United Office, Arteza and so on, um, I used my uh, metallic, Arctic's metallic pens with the bottom bit here and these bits of gold here. But yeah, I want her makeup. I do like this book so I'm looking forward to doing more in, another one in this one this month. Uh, 50 Easy Mandalas by a such, uh, by Jade Summer. Sorry, I'm getting mad. I did two in this one. The battery's about to run out. I don't know if I've got another one ready. And I did... It was quite good. This one. Oh, let's go back one because there's one first. I did this one using um, my Sharpie markers. And this one... I'll actually use, better leave the tickets in these so I know how many I've done. Um, using the glitter gel pens. So these are so easy to do and I love doing them. Colour by number mandalas. I've done two in this one as well. I think one was left over last month. This one, yeah, this one I started in February but I finished it in March. And then this one, this one's all oranges and reds, which is unusual, but I quite like that one. And again, this is all my various markers from Arteza, um, Shuttle Art, oh, the ones from B&M Bargains, uh, Deco Time, and the Scribblicious um, alcohol markers. I did one in the Kawaii Colour by Numbers. Now this one I tend to use normally, if I go and see which one it was, this one, the pens from Amazon. These are the Amazon water-based pens. They do go through uh, the water brush markers so you must put something behind if you're using those I think. Um, but yeah I did this one with the ice creams. I'm going to try and do more than one this month because I really like this book. 
Then Easy Flower Mandalas by Stefania Miro. This is one of the first colouring books I actually got. And I did this one with them. Um, I want to say that's the Windsor and Newton Brights neon ones, they call them. I want to say. It looks like it. So it's nice to do something a bit different. And the same with the rose windows. I did one in here. This one's actually got a thing in it because you can see that. I do. Oh, I did, I do two. I done two in this one. Ooh, go me. Uh, yeah, two this one. This one. Oh. So I did this one with the normal pens I use in here, which are the Lidl's ones. And I did this one, and that was Windsor and Newton Brights as well. The neons. They feel slightly different as well. But that's that one. Uh, one from Egyptian Stained Glass because I know this book I will finish in June because, you know, I'm always finished. I've only literally got eight, three more to do. And it was that one. I do like it. I love anything ancient Egypt, so I've really enjoyed this book. And I also did one in Witch Fantasy, which is another one I know I'm going to finish this year. And I did excuse me this one and again this is various markers um from uh, oh gosh um shot arts oh hoo hoo spectrum noir skin tone and yeah and that's what we've got so i am now going to uh update my journal and then i'll come back and we'll have a look at how we're doing on the old uh tent finish Okay, so it looks like I've updated my book as I've been going on, which uh, means I've got an error on two of them. So on Witch Fantasy, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Egyptian Stained Glass, three. Rose Windows, 13. Easy Flower Mandalas, 14. And then Colour by M Number Mandalas, Jade Summer, I've got 23. And on flowers i've got 28 kawaii calibre numbers 20 chelsea's pretty creations eight 50 easy patterns 33 and 30 from the other so obviously i'm not going to make all of those um but we'll see how we're doing at the half year point in, in June. Um, I'm going to keep ploughing through them because I'm enjoying colouring these books and, and getting through as much as I can. So I hope you've enjoyed this little update video of what I did in March. I will try and get April's up quicker, but who knows with me. It really depends on what Jennifer's doing at school and whether I'm well or, and you know, stuff like that. But I'll try and get it up as quick as I can in March. I will hopefully be filming a colour and chat on Wednesday. Uh, next week because Jennifer's back to school on Wednesday so I'll see you then. Bye!